Hello, second grade manatees. This is Mr. Vincent, your art teacher. This is our new lesson that we're going to be working on in art class. This is going to be a review of lines, and we're going to study the four different line types again. Just a quick review. There's four types of lines. We have straight lines, straight, and straight lines can go in any direction. Any of these lines can go in any direction. Still considered a straight line. We have curvy lines. We have loopy lines. And we have zigzag lines. Now, this lesson will take a few classes here at school because we only have 40 minutes at a time to work on these lessons. And during that time, um, we're going to have to clean up and do the introduction to lessons. So really, we only have about a half hour of true work time. So this will take a couple of classes. Now, on a clean piece of paper, what I want you to do is find a spot in the middle and we'll make a little dot. We are going to make a line, a curved line that goes around that dot like a cinnamon roll and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we don't want it so big that it fills up the page, but we want it to take up most of the space in the middle of the page about like this. And I'm going to stop right there. Looks like a big cinnamon roll or perhaps a snail. And we're going to turn this into a snail. I'm going to curve this line right here and that's where the shell opens up and we'll have our little snail come up here, the straight line. We'll curve it around for the snail's head and we're going to go right underneath the shell here for the snail's body and we'll make a little tail right there. If you want you can add some details to your snail. We can put a little happy face on there. We can put a nose and I could draw some eyes right here or I could make some snail eyes up here. I like my eyes up here. I think they're a little bit more fun. Now, after you draw your snail's shell and the body, what I want you to do is get a crayon and trace over all of your pencil lines. I can use green for the snail's body, and we're just covering up all of these pencil lines. I like to start every drawing with pencil because you can erase pencil, and you cannot erase markers or crayons, so we never draw with markers or crayon first, because if we make a mistake, we're not able to fix it. So I'm going to trace over the body for the snail. And I can use a different color to trace over the lines for the shell. We'll do that next. And I'll start here. And I'm going to use dark blue because it covers up the crayon nicely. And I can keep going around and around and around and around so the whole snail shell is outlined with blue. Now, inside the snail shell, we are going to use the four line types to decorate the shell. We're going to use a lot of different colors too. So maybe I will use some zigzag, zigzag lines first. Now notice all my lines are nice and neat going the same direction. We're not scribble scrabbling lines in here. We're making nice neat lines. And I'm going to make some red zigzag lines for a little bit. And now I'd like to change colors and perhaps I'll put some straight lines in here. Whoops. I was pressing down a little bit too hard. Okay. So one thing about crayons, if you press down too hard, you're going to break the crayon. But we do need to press down hard so these colors are very bright. Now I can put some yellow curve lines in here. And I can switch this one more type of line I haven't used yet. That would be loopy. So I'll just I have just enough room for one loop. So I'll make some loopy lines here. Okay, so I've used the four line types, but I still have a lot of shell to go. So I'm going to start over again. And you can mix the lines up however you like. I will go with straight lines again. And we're going to make these lines all the way around the shell, inside the shell to decorate the shell nice and neat. We're using different colors. And then we can color the snail's body with a solid color. We can outline the eyes. I forgot to do that with my green. And after we get all of our beautiful lines inside the snail's body, and after we get all the colors in the snail's shell, the nice neat lines, we are going to paint over this entire painting with watercolor paints. Now, if you have watercolor paints at home, you are going to want to get the paints very watery. What happens when you press down hard with crayon is crayons made from wax, and wax comes from oil. And watercolor paints are mixed with water, so oil and water never mix. So if you press down hard with your crayons, the paint won't stick to the crayon, but it'll stick to the paper in between. So if I wanted to paint over this section here with a different color of watercolor paint, I could use yellow, and I'll have red lines with a yellow background. 
I could use green in here and I'll have purple lines with a green background. And we can keep switching the colors to make this bright and colorful. You can paint over the snail's body. And then the background, we're going to make lines all in the background to decorate it. If you don't have watercolor paints at home, you can take any type of poster paint or um, non-toxic temporary paint, any paint that's safe for kids and crafts, and you can water it down with the help of an adult, and you can use that paint to paint over your entire snail. That is our lesson. It should be a fun project, and if you have any questions or you would like to send me pictures of what you're doing, please contact me through Schoology. I would love to hear from you. Good luck, manatees.